Hey everybody, Doug Rucker here with PressureWashingSchool.com and DougRuckerStore.com. I had a couple of questions, about three or four in the last week or so, about how to set up the injector, a downstream injector for making sure you're rinsing it out, especially when using a remote system um, or a bypass system or whatever, like a manual bypass system. So I'm gonna go over that um, coming up next. Hey everybody, um, just want to let everybody know that we are praying hard for all you folks in Florida, North Carolina, South Carolina, anybody that was in the path of that uh, Hurricane Helene. Man, I've been watching and, and just uh, stay tuned. A lot of you know that I am from Florida, um, grew up in Clearwater, Florida, and uh, go Knowles. They're not going this year, but anyway. Um, just wanted to let everybody know our thoughts and more importantly, our prayers are with you. We are, Kathy and I are praying for you guys every day. Our family is safe. We have family in Clearwater, Largo, and then also over in Melbourne. So, uh, it's just been extremely hard watching, um, the damage, especially North Carolina, South Carolina, um, and then even our folks in uh, Florida who, who suffered some damage, but nothing catastrophic and nothing near as bad as some of the other places we've seen. So just want to let y'all know we are praying for y'all. And if there's anything that we can do for you guys that need help or um, whatever, you know, just, just let us know. We'll try to help you as best we can. And uh, just keep the faith. Uh, put your trust in Jesus. Uh, lean on Him. And uh, we've been through these things before, and that's just the best thing that you could ever do. Um, just know that uh, he's got you in the palm of his hand, and he's going to protect you. Um, so just lean on him, all right? Okay, so let's talk about first the different types of injector setups um, that you can use, or at least that um, I use and sell. And so just so everybody knows, Everything in my store that I sell, I have either used or do use. Um, so I've either used it in my many years of business or um, use it now and know it to work. So I don't carry every single item. We're not a fully stocked. I just know the, the inventory that we carry, the soaps, the chemicals, hoses, um, injectors, any type of setups, any type of rig builds all of that kind of stuff. Um, I only sell it and only build it because I know I've used it um, and I know it to work. So the basic injector setups that we have are like this, where you have just the downstream injector. And I always remember that the uh, arrow on your injector, which this one, there it is right there, is always pointing the flow direction so you want to make sure your fittings are on the correct way this is the out for me so uh, the water and the bleach or chemical whatever I'm downstreaming is going to flow this way towards my gun if it ever gets scratched off and you can't tell just always know that the out side the, the side that the water or chem is going to flow through is always this side where the large collar is um, the other side is not. That's the inlet side. So if you ever get confused or can't remember which way is your outlet, um, just remember that it's always the side with the big collar. So this is a standard way with a downstream injector. Hose is connected to the hose barb. And then you have a quarter inch chem line hose, poly braid, clear braid, whatever you want to cause it, call it coming down to uh, a little strainer filter if you want to use one of those. We keep ours weighted down either using a PVC pipe um, and a 45 degree, this is a half inch I believe, um, 45 degree PVC cu coupler. Okay, That just helps keep it weighted down in the bucket. Um, another way that you can do it is just use a piece of PVC pipe, but use the strainer, but have a uh, 
hose clamp to clamp it. Otherwise, this may slide past it or knock it out or whatever. Um, just remember that these are stainless, but they're eventually going to corrode and rust. So that's kind of why I prefer doing it this way because I don't have any metal down there. But we've done it this way before and it works fine for a long time. So you can get the PVC and the coupler at Home Depot. Um, we don't sell those. Well, we do, but it's just much cheaper if you go up to Home Depot and get them. So just know that when you use this type of setup on your machine, whether it's a four or a five or an eight gallon per minute or whatever, and it's just this type of setup, whenever you go to use higher pressure nozzles, like on a surface cleaner or your yellow tip or your red tip, um, because this is in line and hooked to your machine, you're going to lose just a little bit of flow and a little bit of pressure. So um, to, in order to achieve that back, the only way you can do that really is to eliminate it. In other words, shut your machine down, squeeze your trigger, let the pressure out, remove the injector, and then hook your hose back up directly to the machine. Um, so it, it's kind of negligible. You just have to kind of play around with it by uh, hooking it up and seeing the type of pressure you get then taking it off and eliminating it and spraying and you, sometimes you have to do that two or three times so that you can see what the difference is because sometimes it can make a difference in cleaning concrete or other hard surfaces when you need to um, get that extra little pressure or flow that you're using. The other way you can downstream is by using a downstream bypass setup. And so in this case, your injector is going here. And you always want to make sure you have spare injectors like this already set up because anything you run bleach through is going to go bad, especially depending on how well you take care of it. So you need to make sure that you're rinsing the injector out really well. And I'm going to show you how to do that on these various systems um, in a little bit. So this is a downstream bypass injector kit. And so what happens is you have a ball, valve, a ball valve up here. And so when your water comes across and it's open like this, it's going to keep going straight so that you can rinse and you're not losing any flow or any pressure like I mentioned in the previous um, part when you're just using a downstream injector only that's connected to the hose. And so... You're going to do the same thing. You'll have a hose, your chem line hose coming out of there. And then this goes to your bucket. And I'm going to show how to rinse again using this setup in a little bit. Rinse your injector anyway. So because when you're rinsing here, nothing, no water is going through the injector. So when you want to apply your bleach using the correct nozzle side size, that's going to lower the PSI so it pulls the bleach from the injector. You're going to turn this, okay? And so now the water can't go through there. It has to come down through here. And so it goes around the loop and then out towards your gun, okay? And that's why it's called a bypass injector because right now it's set up when we squeeze the trigger with the correct nozzle, which is like the black soap nozzle or the soap nozzles on your J-Rod then the water is going to come this way and it's going to pick up. Or if you use an open ball valve, anything that's a wide orifice type, um, for instance, on the J-Rod, you see these two are larger holes. So those two would draw your bleach. These two would not draw your bleach. All right. And so you would, could apply up high with this. This is your soap high nozzle. And so the way it is right now, this will draw your bleach. You can apply two to three storage with this, depending on the gallon per minute of your machine. And then when you wanted to rinse, you could just walk back over to your truck, turn this valve, and you can actually rinse with the same nozzle. It'll take a few seconds for the bleach to work down the hose, and then clear water will come out, and you can rinse with this. Because you don't want to rinse with this. This is a called a rinse high nozzle on a... Uh, four gallon per minute, I think it's 0010, 
but that's very high pressure. It takes a long time to rinse with that. You got to stay off the surface and you're just rinsing with mist. Okay. So that's another option is the bypass downstream injector. Um, this is called the manual system. We, we use the flow pro remote system, which I'll show you, um, that in a minute. And, uh, so we can go back and forth from rinsing to applying soap without having to walk back and forth to the truck. But that's a bypass downstream injector. One other thing that you can do is you can add a check valve right here. That will get you a little bit stronger mix than using an injector without it. Okay, see there's no downstream injector here. I mean, no check valve here. Um, so basically what you're doing is you're taking this hose barb off and you're taking the ball and spring that's out of here because you no longer need it because in here is a spring and an O-ring. And we also have rebuild kits because the internals in here will go bad, but you can rebuild them. Um, and so what that's doing is getting you a little bit stronger mix and then also it's preserving the life of this because you've taken the ball and the spring out and it's it's making it last longer but again what is key is making sure you're rinsing the injector out with plenty of water and so when you've rinsed it out enough you think you have rinsed it out enough rinse it a little bit more okay and so this just basically is going to come off like this there is a ball and spring that's normally in here we've taken that out there's an adapter it fits this thread and then it fits this thread of the check valve and we have these on our website that you can get them already built when we build them we always build them with the plug going out like this so if you need it different if you want it opposite you need to tell us in the notes and we'll build it that way for you or you can get just this piece these two pieces with the hose barb the check valve and the adapter and then put it on your injector. Now, these only fit the general pump hydro injectors, okay? I think they fit super sud suckers too that some people use. Um, so, um, that's one other thing that you can do um, to your downstream injector if you want. Now, on the website, we have these that come prepackaged. It's called Chem Line with Filter. I think they're about $9. And so whenever you're buying an injector or a bypass setup or whatever, you can click and buy this as well. It comes with six feet of hose and your strainer. Okay, so now we're to downstreaming. This is the downstream injector that is hooked up to the machine. And coming off of here would be your high pressure gun or high pressure hose going to your pressure gun. Um, and then on the end of that, you would have your J-Rod nozzles or whatever. So this is set up to flow through the plug. I've always talked about that my uh, preferred method is that the plug points the way of the flow of the water. That's just the way I was taught. Most machines will come with a female socket here. I change them out. I want my water flowing through the plug. Other guys like it flowing through the socket. It's a personal preference. Whatever you want to do is up to you. Okay, so when you're, this is your bucket of bleach. Most guys on a machine like this, the four gallon per minute, myself included, we're going to draw our bleach out of a five gallon bucket. And so what you would want to have next to it is a bucket of clear, plain water. And so you drop this down into your bucket and when you draw your bleach, you're drawing your bleach. Now, when you want to rinse using like the high flow nozzle I was talking about, the soap high nozzle, you can come over and pull this out, drop it into the bucket of water, and you can start rinsing. But again, you're gonna lose a tad bit, just a little bit of flow and a little bit of pressure doing that. But when you're doing this, you are also rinsing the injector out, okay? Um, if you're using that nozzle because it's going to draw water. But in any case, at the end of the job, using this type of downstream setup, you want to make sure that you put this into the bucket of water and just rinse it out, rinse your injector because it'll draw 
um, water out only and rinse it out really well. Okay, and of course you have to use one of those larger orifice nozzles or you can just open up your ball valve, like your ball valve setup if you have one of those and it'll pull the water because the, especially if you're using, not especially, it doesn't matter whether you're using the plug or the, or the socket on the end of it, the, the hose, the hole is long enough that it's coming out that it's going to draw the water. Okay, so that's using just a traditional, regular old downstream setup. Okay guys, so now we're using the bypass injector system and it's hooked up to the machine pretty much the same way the other one was with the plug pointing the flow of the water. So this is where your high pressure gun is going to be and it's going to come out to your gun. So right now it's set up where we are uh, bypassing the injector so even if I have this in the bleach bucket like that it's not going to draw the bleach okay it's just going to straight water is going to come through and so you don't have to worry about have coming back over and switching between two buckets um, when you're ready to draw your bleach using the correct nozzle you're going to turn that valve so it's down like that and now it's going to come through and it's going to pick up your bleach, send it down to your gun. Want to rinse, come back, flip that over and now you can rinse. Again, using that same large um, soap high nozzle, those two that are the, the, uh, have the larger hole, the larger orifice size. Okay. Um, now, when you're done at the end of the job and you want to rinse the injector, then that's when you're going to pull this out, throw it in a bucket of water, throw it in your tank, whatever, and you can turn that valve and now it'll draw water and you can rinse your injector. So you can plumb this to tank. I mean, you can run 12, 14 feet of hose off this. It's still going to draw. It's just when you get done, whether you're using a bucket or a tank, you're going to have to take it out of your bleach tank and then you're going to have to throw it into um, your water tank to rinse it or a five gallon bucket to rinse it either way. Okay, so that's basically the two options on a machine like this that you can do downstream injection and also rinse your injector out. Okay, not to make this more confusing, I'm trying to, uh, I'm going to try to explain this as simple as I possibly can. You can also rinse your injector out by the use of a three-way valve. Now, I don't necessarily recommend this, this type of system on a portable machine that you're moving around because you have the hoses to deal with. You got to find some place to mount the three-way. Um, <clears throat> This works great if you're on a truck skid or a trailer setup. You can either use zip ties to go across to mount this somewhere to keep it fixed in a fixed location that's easy to get to. Or you can get one of these little boxes like this that we sell. They have mounting holes on the back that you can uh, screw into metal or wood or whatever, wherever you're going to put it and the three-way would stick up out of it with the two barbs coming out of the sides. And so what happens in this method is you can take your injector hose that was going to the bucket and just take it and put it to this three-way valve right here at the bottom. And then you would have one hose that goes to, say, your bleach tank, one hose that goes to your water tank or bucket or whatever, okay? And so when you turn this towards your bleach tank, let's say that's your bleach tank, and you're using one of the two larger hold nozzles, okay, soap high or rinse low, or soap high or soap low, um, it's going to draw your bleach from the bleach tank because that side is open according to the three-way, all right? So when you wanted to rinse, you could walk back to the truck and you could do it this way. And now when you use those same two nozzles, it's going to draw water only. However, 
this way you are losing that little bit of pressure or that little bit of flow because you're not bypassing the injector. The injector is still in use in line and that causes you to lose a little bit of flow and a little bit of pressure. So what you could do is you could have your injector set up on a bypass. All right. And so when you do this, now, with the bypass injector, it's going to draw your bleach if this is over to the bleach. Okay? So now it's going to draw your, bleach, draw your bleach in this position. Now, when you go to turn this to rinse, it's going straight across. Okay? Um, and it's going to do it's going to draw nothing nothing but water is going to come through there all right so at the end of the job if when you're ready to rinse your injector you would just turn this this way and then you would turn this this way so it's only drawing water and now the water is going to come through the injector and you can rinse your injector all right so when you want to draw bleach you have to make sure this is pointed towards the bleach tank, the bleach hose. And then when you want to rinse, again, the ball valve is in the bypass position or the not bypass position to draw the bleach. Now it's only drawing water because it's coming through the, through the water tank um, hose that's plumbed to it or bucket or whatever you use. Hope that's uh, simple. Um, it's a little bit to remember. Also, what we do when we're done, because ours is permanently mounted, I'm going to show you that in just a second. Then we just turn it to this position. And because there was a vacuum or whatever, you're not going to continue to suck water or bleach or whatever. Okay. Um, just kind of a safety thing that we do so it doesn't back, back flow back through um, and start leaking if you have... Uh, hose that starts leaking or fitting came loose like a hose clamp or, or whatever okay so um, that's how you can do it using the three-way setup with your bypass injector so I mentioned to you that we use the flow pro remote system so ours is basically this same system exactly how we have it set up right over here the only difference is this little black piece right here it has a ball valve inside of it and then that's an electric actuator that when we hit our remote mix or rinse then it goes back and forth there's a little ball valve in there just like this and it turns for us okay so when we have this turned towards the bleach tank, which my bleach tank is right there, then it's going to draw the bleach. When I hit my rinse button, it's going to draw only water because I'm using the same three-way system. The side over here is for the water. So at the end of the job, in order for me to rinse my injector out then what i do is come over here and i turn this so it's going towards the water tank put my same nozzle in or just open my ball valve up and you'll see a little soap blob come out that that's the mix that was trapped in the loop and it'll rinse that injector out and also rinse my hose out and all the fittings and all that kind of stuff um, so um, that's how we do it with the flow pro remote and again that is just a bypass system that is exactly like this. The only difference is this piece, this handle is taken off and this piece is inside that actuator, that little black thing, and it turns electronically using the remote. Okay? So that's how we rinse it out on the Flow Pro. And then when we're done, we just come over here and we turn this back. The biggest thing that I forget <laughs> on every job, it doesn't matter, is I'll go over and start downstreaming. My soap's not coming out. I have to walk back over here and turn this. If Ramundo is with me, he always remembers, and he comes over and automatically turns it before I get started. So anyway, uh, that's how you rinse the injector out using the Flow Pro. 
Okay guys, these are the nozzle setups that I use just to kind of try to close this thing out for you. I didn't mean to make this so long, but I did want to make sure I explained it to where y'all can, um, where I can try to make it simple and everybody can understand. But these, you can see these nozzles are uh, larger orifice, the holes, these two are the same. But this is a four gallon per minute J-Rod, this is an eight. And so, let's just take this one these two are your so this is your soap high this is your uh, soap low this is your rinse high this is your rinse low all right so i never ever use this one unless i'm pushing leaves or sticks and stuff i don't ever use this for rinsing um, we'll use it to blow off driveways just using the air or uh the air that is produced from the nozzle. I mean, we don't point it straight at the driveway. Um, this one I use a lot. This is great for cleaning brick. Anything that you need to put a little bit of pressure, a little bit of encouragement to that algae because it's not high pressure like a yellow or green tip, um, but it's enough pressure to clean it and uh, not damage the surface as long as the surface isn't already damaged or paint failure or oxidation or whatever. Okay, so that's your J-Rod for the four gallon per minute. This is for the, no, this is for the four gallon per minute. This was for the eight gallon per minute, okay? Um, what I use mostly, I just did a video a couple of weeks ago, is the dual tip with the sharp shooter. And then um, I have two nozzles up here. I explained those. Um, a week or so ago about nozzles and then this is a setup I use also lots of ways you can you know vary these these nozzles how you use them so but I use mainly the dual tip holder and then just kind of configure it so I can always change this out a lot of guys will use this with the M5 twist I don't use that a whole lot except for uh, property protection keeping plants wet or if I'm cleaning a lot of vinyl siding or some type of soft surface that's not real porous, then I love using that M5 twist. But we run across too much brick, stucco, stone where we have to use light pressure. Again, a little bit of encouragement on some of the tougher stains. And so that's kind of why I have this set up. Okay. Hey guys, I hope this has been helpful for y'all. Um, hope it didn't confuse you too much. If you have any questions or um, whatever, just hit me up at info at DougRuckerStore.com or you can call us 281-612-1223. And don't forget, coming up October 12th is our next hands-on training right here in Houston, Texas. Same one we've been doing for the last 12 years. Um, and then also the online video school, if you can't make it out, that's an excellent, excellent training opportunity to help you get your business started and off the ground. And then Difference Makers Conference coming up in February. So Ray Burt, Patrick Clark are going to be joining me and uh, we hope y'all can make that. It's going to be an awesome uh, two-day business training conference. So uh, for all of that, go to pressurewashingschool.com. If you have any questions about any of the training opportunities we have, the online school, uh, the training here in Houston, my point training where I come out and train guys on their jobs or on their property or whatever, um, and then Difference Makers Conference, you can text me at 281-883-3630 or email pressurecleaningschool at gmail.com. That's for school questions, for store questions. Please use the 281-612-1223 number and uh, info at dougruckerstore.com. Those are the best ways to get a hold of me. I do not use Facebook Messenger a lot. I check in every now and then to see if there's any messages. So um, if you use that, it may take a bit before you get a response simply because I just don't hang out on it that much. All right. So y'all have an awesomely blessed day. And again, Florida folks, we are praying for y'all and uh, y'all stay safe. And uh, hurricane season's almost over and we need to get through it. So um, everybody have a very, very blessed day.